Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about this topic that is how to keep only positive value, values of an array. In many cases, in uh, making practical simulation in MATLAB, this concept may help you so that I am sharing. You should understand it very clearly, very easy concept. If you understand the math, you can write the code by yourself. No need to remember anything. Okay, so let us start with one example. So what is the meaning of the keeping only positive values of an array? Suppose I have an array x whose elements are 1, minus 1 and 2. Okay. Now I want only positive values of the array and the negative values should be replaced by 0. That means what our target array? Target array is some variable equal to 1, 0, 2. Okay. That is what I want. And how to achieve that? That is the question. Already in my previous video, I have discussed in detail about the absolute function. I shall post the link in the description. You can check from there. Okay. So see, what is the steps? You just take the what? As the absolute of this array and define in another variable y. So y is equal to what you take. If you take absolute, then 1 minus 1 will be become 1 and 2 will remain 2 only. So new array will be y equal to 1, 1, 2. Okay. Now, you just add them up. x plus y, what will become? Array means element wise addition. 1 plus 1, 2. Then, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Then, 2 plus 2 is 4. Right? So, x plus y is this one. Now, you divide by 2. And you will get x plus y by 2 equal to 2 divided by 2 is 1. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now observe this array and observe this array. What is happening? By doing x plus absolute of x by 2, we are achieving only the positive values of a particular array. Okay. So this is the basic three-line algorithm. Now let us try to implement this in MATLAB. And let us check whether we are getting the same result or not. Okay. So 1 minus 1, 2. Fine. Y equal to ABS of x right colon now j equal to x plus y by 2 right now you give semicolon control a evaluate selection see now it came into command window right z click enter see 1 0 2 that means See, x was 1 minus 1, 2 and j is 1, 0, 2. That means only the positive values of the x we are getting. Now, you should think in your domain. If you are AC engineer, with this basic concept, how you can relate with your electronics concept? Yes, correct. Half-wave rectifier. With this function, we can easily get this output of the half-wave rectifier. What is half-wave rectifier? If you provide one full sinusoid wafer, it will keep only the positive half cycle and it will, uh, it will keep only the positive half cycle and it will clip or remove the negative half cycle. So let us try to implement that in MATLAB and let us try to observe whatever we have studied is correct or not. Right. So let me define t is equal to 0 colon 0 0.001. I am trying to plot in continuous domain. So I have given very small increment. You can use same thing for discrete domain also by keeping the increment as 1. Okay. You know these basic things, right? Now let me give the input that is the input which is coming from the function generator as sine of function. Right? Now subplot 2, 1, 1. Okay. Sorry. Plot t comma x okay now y equal to abs of x right next step subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 okay next step uh sorry here we should write the expression right j equal to x plus y divided by 2 fine now plot uh, t comma z okay x label x label what we should give in the continuous domain correct time y label is what tell me correct amplitude obviously now you just copy paste these things copy 
and paste it here also so that the output looks readable okay and let me give title also for clarity title original input waveform in half wave rectifier hwr i am writing in short form now here output in the title t i t l e title output let me write short form op uh, of the half wave rectifier hwr okay colon control a right click evaluate selection let's check whether we are getting the result or not see see exactly we are getting what we wanted to achieve this is our original observe carefully the first one this is our original input waveform for the half wave rectifier which is basically coming from the function generator or like that and it will keep only the positive half cycle see 0 to 1 is the positive half cycle like this huh? so see 0 to 1 it is keeping the positive half cycle and it is clipping or removing the negative half cycle so in this way you can achieve the half wave rectification in MATLAB. okay i have shown you this simple code i shall post the code in the description so that you can easily run in your software also so for this uh, video it is all about and you can check my channel for uh, more videos related to electronics and communication engineering and if you find this video helpful please like share and comment and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon Thank you for watching.